got a lot of differentials to do this week. Or as somebody picked up saying it was a final drive. I don't think so. Anyway, what I'm doing is I'll just give you a little taster. I'm putting together a video putting an Ashcroft ATB diff in a Salisbury. Uh, that's turning out to be interesting. Uh, but today, on this little video, we're going to be trying to get the bearings off the Rover type of axle. It's, it is a bit of a problem because there's actually two sizes. This is, if you can remember the hole in the casing here was slack where the pin goes through, where this pin goes in, it was all loose. So they sent me another diff. But unfortunately, it's a 10 spline metric. How do you tear the two apart? Well, on the casing over there, if the bolts are marked 8.8, .8, it's a metric 10 spline. Uh, otherwise, it's a, an imperial size, inch size. So, this was my little setup tool that JP made me a few weeks ago, but it won't fit in. It won't fit into here for the rover axle, you know, for the 10 spline. So I just got back and he knocked me up another one to fit in there. Because you really need something when you've got a setup like this. So this is a, just a cheap old uh, commoner garden hydraulic puller set you can get off eBay, Amazon or whatever now. So we're just going to pull that bearing off, if we can. So where's all our bits gone? Ah, here we are. I just did one in his shop just to see if this works. Now, one thing I don't like about this method is you can't use your bearings twice, but it gets them off. So when I get this set up, I'll come back. Right, so we're nearly there. What we're going to do now is just clinch this, uh, these bearing separators off. Now, you can see I'm pulling off the bottom of the roller, um, which isn't really sort of good. But these bearings come with a little tiny cutout underneath these housings, so you can put like a fork. But I've broke more forks trying to get them out <laughs> um, than this, so because these are scrap bearings, it's worth doing. So cover your ears, I'm just going to put this, tighten up these bolts. You will not be able to force that together to get the bearing off. All right, you won't be able to do it, it's impossible. It's just impossible. So let's see how we can go. So we're gonna take up the slack with the machine. You see, we put a little dimple in the middle, here and here, so that the dimple of this shaft will not slip off. You put your safety glasses on, or your safety socks, or whatever you want to put on. Like I say, you are going to, oh, look at that. It's moved already, didn't the other one we took off it went bang. <laughs> so that's coming off look. There we go. Now the only downside about this little tool is that it runs out of stroke. You, it's a little hydraulic cylinder, it's just like a little hydraulic press. So that well, is tight, but it's a 10 ton hydraulic press. So you turn the top and it forces oil, or in this case grease onto the top of this piston and, and forces it down. So now we have to back it off again. We'll just tighten it up a wee bit because now it's going to slack. Oh, that's better. There we go. And she's off. There we go. We can put that back in the box. There's the old bearing. Well, like you said, the, the Land Rover only put two little cutouts here and here. Well, we, I've had bearings, you know, even when we've used this tool here, I had to warm up the, the bearing and then it goes bang. So be careful of that. Now, the next thing we're going to say is that these are 10 spline. Can you put the, the 24 spline in? Well, let's find out. And the answer is... No. It won't fit. I've never done these before. I've never done this before, so you know, just sort of bear with me a little bit. 
Um, just let me go and get my uh, furnier. So here we go. Let's uh, let's zero our uh, machine in here. I wonder if you do it in inches. I wonder if they're done in inches. These forty-two point nine. 39.58. I wonder what it is in inches. I bet it's something ranged in inches. 1.55 inches. 1.69. So, can you convert them? I don't know. I don't think so. So that is still kaput. I mean, who wants 10 spline ones? Also, the condition inside here isn't fantastic. It's a bit grating compared to oh, well, you can't see can compared to this one. It's pretty much better. So back to the drawing board. See ya.